Hello, you lovely lot. I'm popping in to talk to you about this. This, <clears throat> this is you as a therapist, a coach, a wellness practitioner, a counsellor, um, whatever you are in the helping or therapeutic or transformational business. And this is your client. And you can see there, they're not very happy. Now, you have your en own energy field. Okay, you've got your own energy. You're smiling. So your energy field is probably quite strong, quite resonant. It's probably a lot bigger than that, but we, this is not a to, to scale drawing. Nice nails, right? And this is your client and they're not feeling very good. They're sad. Maybe they're carrying trauma. Maybe they're trying to get a goal and their energy field should really be depicted a lot smaller than this, but their energy field will be carrying different energy, different vibrations to yours because of their emotions, right? And if we zoom out a little bit, this is a dead technical drawing. I know, bear with. This is the energetic cocoon, the healing cocoon that is created whether you try to or not. When you come into a session with a client, you become an energetic um, entity, the two of you together. Now, if you are in a place where you're happy and you're doing the work, you can co-regulate with your client, which means that your heart center gives off your core signature vibration like this. In fact, let's have a little draw along, shall we? Your heart space goes like this. You don't need the sound effects, do you? And it's 5,000 times more than the vibrations and the frequency that is given off by the brain. Okay, that's the brain. This is the heart. Excuse my scroll. So when you walk into a room, the what am I trying to say? The, the, the frequency, the vibe, if you like, that your heart space predominantly is giving out, that fills your energy field, that projects outwards like so. This here impacts the brains of other people that are within range of you. So the same room, a few feet or whatever. So if you're in a good place, you will naturally impact your client who's very down in the mouth here with your sparkly energy, right? And that's just one aspect of it. Add to that your language, your attachment, your... God, my writing's awful. Your level of attunement. All of these things are going to impact this person here right so the reason i'm telling you this is because this is a key part of one of the tools i'm going to be talking to you about next week um september 24th it starts for my workshop it is it's that much to get involved and I'm good. This is just one part of one of the tools that I'm going to talk to you about. And if you are not in a position where you have a tool to actually regulate this, to regulate this, which this heart space, this vibration that's shooting out, which comes from having a regulated nervous system. If you go into a session nervous, so let's reverse it. If this is you and you're nervous because you're not sure about the result you can get for your client and you're thinking, oh my God, am I good enough? Blah, de, blah, de, blah. Guess what? That then influences the brain of your client. So, and this is true whether you're in session with them, whether this is you and this is a client halfway across the world and this is Zoom or social media, people feel your energy, right? So your vibration from your heart space, whatever that is set at in any given moment will impact other people and they will either be, they will either gravitate towards you or they will be repelled. So what you put out impacts other people and they will have a, a reaction to that. And it's really critical that you, as a transformational and or therapeutic professional, work on this so that this is filled with the right kind of energy for the client session. I hope that makes sense. If you want to join the workshop next week, you can sign up. I would love to see you there. Bye for now.